So you're headed down to the Florida Keys and you're going to bring your kayak and you want to get on some fish, but you don't know where to start with the miles and miles of shorelines and all the flats out here. It is hard to decide where to start. But I will tell you this, the good news is you drove in on the best place to catch fish. And that is all of the bridges that are along the Florida Keys. Now I'm going to show you the best way of getting tight lines while you're fishing these bridges in a kayak. Now the Florida Keys is an amazing place to go fishing. But again, like I said, there is just so many options out here. A lot of people bring the kayaks down there and they don't know where to start. So I always say start at the bridges. Now fishing these bridges here in the Florida Keys is one of the best ways to get into a ton of different types of fish. This is a numbers type of game. You can get out here and just catch a ton of fish. Now there are keeper fish out here there's trophy fish out here so anything from you know your edible size snapper to your trophy tarpon there's grouper out here there's all kinds of stuff what i'm going to show you today is a way to get tight lines and you can kick your trip off good and that way you'll know you're going to catch at least something these tips and tactics that i'm going to do on this bridge will work on any of the bridges and the keys but us1 is one of your best bets to be able to get onto some fish so you don't have to travel very far and you don't have to find those obscure little bridges that are in these residential neighborhoods any one of the bridges that are in between the keys down here will hold fish. Now, a word of warning, the current can be very strong underneath these bridges, so be safe out there. Know your skill set. If you're looking for a time of the tide when the current is not going to be as strong, look at the first third or the bottom third of the tide cycle. The middle of the tide is going to be the strongest point, so be careful out there. I'd never anchor up in the current. You never know what's going to happen. There's a lot of boat traffic, and again, the current can be very swift, so be safe out there and know your skill set. Okay, let's talk about what we're going to use to catch these fish so what i want you to do is go down to your local bait shop and get you some frozen shrimp this is all you're going to need nothing fancy so frozen shrimp small bait hook something in a you know a size one maybe a one knot and some split shots so what we're going to do is we're just going to do a minimalist approach to this this is going to be the same type of setup that you probably learned how to fish with you know catching brammer crappy and freshwater lakes so here's the setup that we're going to be using i have a really small hook this is a size one i've got one little small split shot right there because the current that we're dealing with right now is not very strong so one single split shot is all i need i've got a length of 20 pound monofilament leader tied to my 10 pound braid and the outfit that i'm using is going to be your standard inshore setup so i've got a seven foot medium rod medium power rod with a 2500 reel with 10 pound braid on it and that's all the setup that you need nothing really fancy now after you get into position what i want you to do is i want you to take some of your shrimp and i want you to cut them up into small pieces and what we're going to do with this is we're going to use it as chum now chum's important because basically what it does is it gets the fish feeding and that way they're not thinking about it so when you do present your shrimp with a hook on it they're more likely to eat it now you can use chum bags to do this but i'm not a fan of tying chum bags to my kayak because you never know what you're going to attract so what i'll do instead is i'll actually take a handful of this shrimp and i'll throw it out towards the bridge where i'm fishing and that way i'll have my chum in the water without having to worry about any sharks or anything coming up to the kayak now this is a variety type of fishing you're going to catch a ton of different fish fishing this way but if the quantity or the quality of the fish is not where you want it to be try moving shallower or deeper along that same bridge or even try fishing a different bridge and the type of fish and the size of the fish that you're going to catch are going to change an often overlooked place to find fish is the causeways leading to the bridges. These causeways can offer structures such as dredge holes, mangrove lines, coral, limestone, and a bunch of other places that fish will hold on to. One of my favorite ways of catching fish along this is skipping lures underneath the mangroves. Now you can use live bait in the same situation, but I like skipping lures under here. Now one of my favorite lures to use to skip is going to be the jerk shad. Because of its flat sides and its weight, you can use it to skip way underneath these trees. Now, one of the more common species that you're going to catch doing this is going to be barracuda. There are a ton of them down there, but it's not the only thing that you can catch. Snapper or something that you can catch. You can catch grouper down here, and you can even catch snook down here in the Keys using this method. And if you're looking for more tips and tactics on how to catch fish around these bridges, make sure and check out this video here.